Channel 4 at 6. I will continue to fight and I will never back down to anybody. They'll have to put me in jail for life. The jury returns a guilty verdict saying it's a crime, not art. My message is a message, message of rebellion. I'm the voice of the, people, the young people in America, the angst and hatred and rebellion. I'm, my message is from the street, the people that are out there. I take the street and I put it on the stage. It's reality. Alan also claims he will kill himself on Halloween night 1992 as a sacrifice to rock and roll. But this is not the first time he has made that specific threat. And that was a look at today's film, Hated, Gigi Allen and the Murder Junkies. My name is Grady George, and you're watching At the Tubi, my ongoing series where I will be reviewing movies that can be found on Tubi. If you're unsure what Tubi is, just go to Tubi.com, and you're instantly granted access to over 20,000 movies and TV shows. You don't even have to sign up. Just go to Tubi.com, type in the kind of content you're looking for, and voila, you're ready to go. Now let's get into it. Hated, G.G. Allen and the Murder Junkies is a 1993 documentary film produced and directed by Todd Phillips, who went on to direct The Joker as well as The Hangover series his junior year at NYU. Todd had seen Gigi at a club when he was 17 years old and thought he might make a good documentary subject. A few years later, he met Gigi's brother Merle at a video store who put him in touch with Gigi, who was doing time in Michigan for the brutal assault of a woman. Todd bailed him out. Gigi immediately skips out to New York City and begins planning an ill-fated tour. First practice shows that doing time has not changed GG. For years, Gigi has threatened to kill himself on stage, and his brother Merle is confident it will happen, as this clip shows. Well, I, you know, I, I feel that uh, if that's what he wants to do, it's his life, you know. And, uh, you know, people are always saying, well, why don't you try to talk him out of it? But if you know Gigi the way I do, you can't talk Gigi out of doing anything that he wants to do. So it doesn't really matter what anybody thinks because he doesn't really care what anyone thinks about what he does. And, uh, you know, bottom line is if he wants to do it, he's going to do it. Do you think people are going to die? I'm not going to answer that. I don't want to answer that. There's lots of interviews with people who know or have known Gigi, like former teachers, former high school friends who all seem fairly normal. Except this guy. Boy, ain't that the truth, brother? <laughs> as well as his former high school principal, who goes on some bizarre weasel rant about Gigi. This guy definitely has Gigi PTSD. Insatiable appetite. He always kills and eats more, or kills more than he needs to sustain himself. In other words, he's excessive. And I guess that relates to what Kevin might be doing now, dealing in, in music, his excessiveness, you know, of, of the, the punk era. And uh, a weasel does the same thing. It's the same with uh, weasel family. Same thing. The band finally makes it out on the road only to have Gigi jumped and beaten on stage by 15 fans in San Antonio, where he is taken into custody and sent back to Michigan to serve out the remainder of his sentence, effectively ending the rest of the tour. 
The film ends with shots of Gigi Allen's funeral after he is found dead just a few weeks after the film premiered. Personally, I always hoped he would go out in a more glorious fashion. On stage suicide, five dead fans, something rock and roll could never ignore. Instead, G.G. Allen, public animal number one, died like a rock star, in typical rock star fashion. Hated, G.G. Allen and the Murder Junkies is one of my all-time favorite documentaries. I highly recommend anyone watch it. The problem is there's a plethora of uh, micro peepees, uh, poop eating, you know, nudity of both men and women, uh, hot dog penetration. I mean, it goes on and on. And that's one of the great things about Tubi is if they have a print that is uncut, they put the whole thing up there, which I really appreciate as a fan of films. I, I hate censorship of any kind. Um, this is definitely a chance to uh, watch a movie for free that is one of the uh, early works of uh, one of the more notable directors today, Todd Phillips, who uh, is known for The Joker. If you're someone who's not easily triggered, go ahead and watch this movie. I personally find it hilarious. I almost feel like it's a comedy. And Todd Phillips did go on to do the Hangover series and Old School and some other R-rated comedies. And I would put this up there as like a, it's almost like a spinal tap, but it's real. You know, and it's like a punk rock spinal tap. But I'm Grady George, and I will see you next time at the Tubi.